Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to Drinks and Dave. Night. I think it was free drink night at the bar. So, how you doing, Dave? It's light out, Dave. Well, yeah, because this it's great for me. It's six o'clock. <laughs> That's right. Time change, which you hate, which because uh, we don't do, because we don't do it. Right. Everybody which else. I agree to... is the way to go, but I appreciate I can do this in the light, <laughs> which is nice. Well, here, uh, here's an interesting thing. So apparently, uh, hello Amber, hello uh, Spider, hello Tig Lily, and apparently Tig Lily has been hitting the bottle a little early today Oops. because I see. Oh, oh it's easy, oh, buddy. Oh, 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 oh Amber. Amber and Depider. Hi, Barflies. <laughs> <laughs> Is Amber you the know, next uh, Mrs. Mrs. Spider? Mrs. Spider, yeah, her? Mrs. Oh. Spider. I don't think she'll like us to call her Mrs. Spider, but Mrs. I don't know. Spider. She might. She might. She might. I'm thinking Little Miss Tuffet. Was there a Mrs. Spider little poem thing? Or no? No, no I just remember Little Miss Muffet sat on her Tuffet oh, eating her curds and whey. When and along a came a spider, so she's Miss Muffet. Her. Yes, she would be Miss Muffet. Oh, yeah, and so cute. yeah, that's right. Spider would come down oh, and sit on her tuffet. On oh, her tuffet. Then, then again, well, I get maybe maybe Amber sits on his tuffet. Well, but that's in this another... day and age, it's all good. Oh, it's Madame Webb. <laughs> <laughs> I think to, if wow. you're no, no, if you're Madame Webb, you need spandex and a mask and a cape. And a safe word. <laughs> <laughs> well, right. But, yeah. At an hourly rate. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> so uh, what are we drinking and smoking tonight there, uh, Dave? I just fired up Arturo Fuente Grand Reserva. This nice. is a long one, so you all better get comfortable because the show's going to this Wow. And... The Freud elements. Oh, see my my black. My, oh, you can't see. I'm drinking it, the Freud elements 1.0. Well, if I would have known the that, would have. If I would have known that, I would have poured that because you gave me well, La Freud yeah. elements 1.0. Yeah. Well, I but thought I you might do both tonight. I was, no. And, and, <laughs> I don't believe this for no. one second. If he beats saying that he's but, drinking bathtub gin, it's probably Hendrix. Orpheus or something oh. like that. What? Well, yeah, the Orpheus. I was gonna not say it's Orpheus, a two hundred dollar Orpheus, bottle. Not, that... not Orpheus. Orpheum. <laughs> is that what it is? Orpheum. I think so. You know, it's been a while since I've drank, but I am drinking tonight. Surprise, surprise! I'm not teetotaling. I am drinking um, Octomore. Octomore. Octomore th eleven point three, and it is delicious. Apples, pears, no peat. Mm, it's delicious. Yeah. And so, for my cigar is yeah. another thing that uh, a guy in San Francisco, my what guy in San Francisco, guy. what a peach, an AVO. And I think this is their uh, their shade, right? Their standard. I don't know. You shade. ask me that, and, and I feel bad. You know, when we got uh, cigar guy Tim on, you know, me saying our Terrell Fuente is not good enough, right? Because there's 50 in there. I don't know. I just but buy that's the a good. That's a good cigar, them. though. Yeah, and apparently from what I heard, you're buying too many. <laughs> well, there's opinions and there's opinions, you know. <laughs> where is where is uh, Ms. Pantea? She's not back speak? from work yet. Oh. Normally she's in oh, there. So I see, see, her over there. see, I was going to say, because they, we start earlier now, you have about two minutes where you can have some fun. <laughs> <laughs> two minutes. And, you know, we've been chatting uh, a couple things. It's We try to keep this separate from the shaving cadre. Yes. But sometimes it slips in there, especially mm -hmm. with the bar flies. But, um, oh, she's here. Look wait at that. Minute, wait, but wait a minute. <laughs> how, can, how can you see Pantea behind you if she's driving? No, I say normally I would see her behind me. Oh, I was going to say couch, because the is she is she multidimensional? Multi. Is she multidimensional? Look, look at them all coming in Hello, here. Hello, Steve. Dad, how are you? Welcome. You know, it's... Oh, wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> You want me to get it? I wasn't I wasn't ready for this. Welcome right here. Oh, it's good to whoops, oh. Whoops. See, I wasn't I cut it on the loop. Easy apparently, Rich. Apparently Slow Rich had there. apparently Rich had tacos for dinner. Apparently. Or White Castle. Yeah. Um you know what's funny is like during the Wait, wait, wait. Here, 
finish your finish your thought when you were talking about we don't bleed over I, the content. I got a lot of keep up. <laughs> Well, now I was going to say, you know, we try not to talk about cadre, like this is separate, right? And it's very not cadre friendly because that's a family friendly site. Mm -hmm. But uh, we've been talking a lot about because we've got the Vegas trip coming up for the cadre, which we're super excited about. Yes. And we're going to hit up some cigar bars and stuff like that and do one of our lives from mm -hmm. Vegas. Um, we'll have, so we'll actually we'll actually have a live audience. Live and you know, and you know how I can guarantee we'll have a live audience because I and, and two other people have the key to the suite. And once they're in there, we can lock them lock, in. Lock in. <laughs> Mandatory audience. <laughs> that'll be that'll be a ton of fun. That'll be fun. That'll be. Yeah. Fun. But see, they'll be able to throw stuff at us, though. So we're going to have to be real careful. We we could. We just I'm, I'm still working on my tan. You can't you can't go down there pale. Right. You get no. No. You get crispy in Fort. Yeah. Plus, I think I'm 30 years too late for the Fort Lauderdale. Yeah, they they would look at us and say, "Watch out, those are narcs. They're cops. You, They're cops. <laughs> cops." Yeah, but uh, we also we're gonna have some some schedule changes coming up because of that. Because that week, I think what we have one more show, and then uh, what, let me look Tuesday? at let me look at El Calendor. Uh, no, we've got the 19th and the 20. Are you gone the 26th? Yes. Okay. So yeah, that's so the we'll Tuesday a, before, right? Right. So uh, yeah. we'll have a show on the night. Well, no, actually, that's not the Tuesday before. The second is the Tuesday before. So technically, we won't have shows the twenty, the twenty sixth, or the second, right? Or will you be here on the twenty sixth? You have me confused now. Okay. Today is March twelfth. We have show going now. Next week is March nineteenth. We totally have totally be here right now. Okay. So well, good. We've we've mm -hmm. clarified that you're here now. Next week is the 19th. Are you here? Go then. Yep. Okay. So the 26th. When are you? When are you leaving for Mexico? I think that's when we're gone. Okay. Then you said you were also gone on Tuesday, the second of April. Are we in Vegas? The f we're in Vegas the third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Then no. The, I guess I'm here the 26th. So okay, we'll have, so we have two more shows, two more shows. Well, no, then, because the two, well, yeah, actually we will the Tuesday show, because you told me earlier that you were coming in from Mexico on Wednesday, yeah. the third and coming back on the fourth. So that's true. So Tuesday, the second, we won't have a show. Correct. But we'll have a live in Vegas and over less, the weekend. Unless while you're in Mexico and I'll be in the hotel room in Vegas. And we go oh. tequila. <laughs> so uh just stay tuned, folks. We're not quite sure yeah. when we're gonna have a show, uh, but we know that for sure we will be having one next week. Right. We know that much. And I was um so the, the other thing I was trying to say is it's funny watching when you're showing our five minute intro, mm -hmm. the number of people watching goes up and down. It does. So it's almost like somebody's like they get the notification and click on it, and they're like, "Oh crap! I didn't mean to go watch those guys." And then they log off. Or the more, the more, probably the real reason is I better go to the bathroom so I can sit down and oh, watch because right. this it's quality of show attention. you don't right. want to take any breaks whatsoever because exactly. there's just just amazing. Because exactly. we're ten minutes in, and look at all the entertainment we've gotten already. Mm -hmm. Talking about absolutely nothing. Well, like is you know, and not and not to get into any copyright issues, but you remember <laughs> yeah. Seinfeld. Seinfeld was a show about nothing. Yeah. Drinks and well, Days he, is a talk show about nothing. They're they're done, so we can take that over. Yeah, somebody owns it. No. <laughs> so shall we talk about what tonight's show? Well, and first of all, if you're in, we've got 10 people in the bar. And oh, by the way, uh, it is happy hour right now. So please belly yourself up to the bar. Uh, we will be more than happy to take care of your drinks. Your virtual drinks. Um, and, you know, I thought of something. And congratulations, Dave. We are at 93, maybe even 94 subscribers as of today. Man. And here's what I'm thinking. And you tell me if you like this. When we get to uh. 100 subscribers. Uh-oh. That's only seven away. What, what would tattoo you say? are we getting? <laughs> no. <laughs> I think we should give away a Drinks and Dave's t-shirt. What do you think? Oh, fair enough. Okay. So. For those of you that are here, there are subscribers. Make sure we get uh, 10 more, even though it's seven. Uh, 
and we will we will use everybody and we will give it away live at one of our shows once we get to 100 subscribers oh there you go that's the one we want you know you think we have this down by now but nah it's more fun this way yeah so well pantea is now relaxed she probably has a nice libation she's she's winding (laughs) down from that stressful corporate job and she can just relax and listen to (laughs) you (laughs) <laughs> wow. and my wife can listen wow, to that me took a turn. <laughs> so shall we shall we talk about what tonight is going to be about you, sure okay as sure. you all know we try to give everybody uh, just the absolute utmost in quality programming we have a crack team of researchers we have a crack team of of, <laughs> of marketing reps we we we, we run the whole gambit now, most of those are on loan from Nurse Dave Shaving World and <laughs> Barber Dave Shaves and such. So they're not exactly the smartest in the bunch. But we came up with an idea tonight where we want, and this has been a this has been uh, difficult for us to get the bar flies more involved. So what we're gonna do is you pick a word or a subject or a statement, and you're <laughs> trying to stump us. So in other words, if you ask us, what is the definition of such and such word? We, because of our knowledge and our crack team of researchers, have researched yeah, it all. This is, we this have is it all. a terrible idea. Yeah, I know, but but it's <laughs> worth it. So, so, um, so, uh, whoever wants to go first, and if nobody goes first, I will go first for you, Dave. Oh, you got one? Okay, because I was going to tell. No, a story, I don't have one. Don't. I'm going to make one up on the. I'm going to make one up. Make on the, one up. Yeah. So. Well, you know, because when you mentioned this, I was thinking, you mentioned that, but I told you I looked up some some riddles and stuff, and one of the, <laughs> and it is beginning, gimcrack. Oh, mm-hmm. that's for you. I know what that is. Do you know what that is? I can't talk. I've been told that when that came up, I had to keep my mouth shut. That oh. one is specifically for you. So define gimcrack. Well, it's a, it's it's pronounced gin crack, even though it's G. It's pronounced like it, you know, like, like gin, and uh, so it's kind of funny because BP gave it away already, right? It's when you're making gin, and you've got the aging in a barrel, then once you've emptied out the barrel, you've got gin crack left in between the cracks, the slats of the wood, and that can be kind of like what would they call it? The angels? Sh- no, they called it the devil's share, right? That some bourbon they're squeezing mm-hmm. out of the wood. Same thing with this. You can get gin crack gin. It's super expensive because there's not much left in the cracks of the barrel when they're done. But that's, that's what that's, it is. Okay. Um, is there anybody that can verify that? Because I have my own. Um, yeah. See, gin crack. <laughs> she said gim crack, well, I, not gin crack. That's gim crack. I so, know, but that's let how me take, it's spelled. No, let me take my my. Uh, well, I'm going to come off of you, gin crack. Okay. As you know, in the Arabian Nights, and when you had oh, all, you had flying carpets and you had genies and everything else. Well, genies are also known as gin. Okay. So what? as the gin, you the rub, plumbers? you rub, well, yeah, you rub the bottle, you rub the bottle, you rub the bottle. Genie, genie, give me my thing. And he gets out, but he's a little bit too big to get out of the thing. And as he's coming out of the bottle, his his robes go down and he bends over and you have a gin crack. Gin crack. So, <laughs> so I think that that uh, that that uh, that that. So so wait a minute. Before we go, we need to find out is OK. Gim crack is what she said. So you have to tell her what a gim crack is. G I M C R A C E. You ruined it. I I told okay. her, and now you're acting like I'm wrong. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> let's uh, now uh, for the next one. If you don't say who you want to, uh, no, is this the right answer this? that got? I don't know. Flimsily, oh. flimsy or poorly made, but deceptively attractive. I like that. I want that on a shirt. Jim <laughs> Crack. <laughs> I like that. Seriously. Gin crack. And on the back, flimsily or poorly made, but deceptively oh, attractive. I thought I you meant it could be on the back of the Drinks and Dave shirts now. <laughs> Pantea wins the internet for tonight. Um, uh, okay. So if you don't tell me who you want to do it, 
uh, then we're just going to both take a crack at it. So let's go back up because we've got some some coming up. Okay, so this is from Spider. Yeah. And is what is Oblek? Now, remember, color. you can't say, you can't say, I don't know. You have to, if you don't right. know, you have to I, make something I know. Up. Okay. That's just a color. It's a color? Okay. To yeah. me, Oblek. to me, to me, Oblek. when I hear Oblek, what I, what I, what I think is I think of Charles M. Schulz, the man who created Peanuts and Snoopy. And there is a meme where Snoopy is sticking out his tongue and I picture Snoopy going, oof, black, black, oh, black. No, it was in Lethal Weapon, right, with the the what? South Americans. And he kept saying, oh, black. They're all blacks. It's a color. Okay, somehow I call, I call bogus on that no. one. So, Mr. Spider... Give us the real meaning of that. <laughs> He's looking it up. He's looking. He doesn't know. He did. He just hit the keyboard and <laughs> said, "That's what this is." Okay. Well, so, we'll wait for that answer. So that that was your answer that it's black. I'm saying that it was Snoopy when he's disgusted right. and he goes, "Ooh, black." Okay. I like that. That's a very accurate uh, description of a. Of a dog. Okay. okay, so we have another or one. A hair you ball. Can take... It could be a cat, right? Right. And so now remember, if you put up the question uh, that you're trying to stump us with, and so far, Dave, I don't think we've been stumped. I think we're yes. that good. And so I think that you need to tell us what it is. So this one's next for Dave. You can start off yeah. first. And it is, what is the spray nozzle attached to many toilets in Vietnam? Well, isn't that just a, a bidet? That's what I'm saying. It's a bidet. P beat. But it's I have gotta a be feeling... something else. <laughs> no, I'm P beat. But uh, I don't want to go down that road. Oh, so here's our answer. Obec is slime. Acts well, like but spider, oh, spider oh. game. Yeah, acts, acts like, like a liquid in a swallow. Right. So that yeah, I've seen that. You cornstarch in water, and if you pound on it, it's really hard, but you can slowly put your hand in it. It's like so in other words, it's of... hard. It's hard and stiff, but it can also be soft. Easy. There take are, it easy. My there dad's are here, many man. other things that could fall into that category. Okay, now that's just uh that's just got to be a nickname for uh, a bidet. Uh, bun gun isn't it a bidet? Bum gun. I and like actually, that name better though. Yeah, bun bun gun is also the type of uh, dumpling that you can get during uh, during uh, Chinese New Year. <laughs> it's shaped like a genie's behind. See, that's what's the beauty of this show is we are educational at the same time. Right. So in the you... next time that the next time, in fact, you know what? For uh, for KJ's uh, KJ's uh, bachelor party, <laughs> we are going to need to make sure we have Ublik. Ublik. Mm -hmm. That's you know what? Uh, that sounds like something uh, again from like Iceland. You do shots. It's a licorice colored. Now I got the answer. It's a licorice colored flavored liqueur from from uh iceland that he brought back okay you ready for our tough one uh, one of our first major one and it's from amber yeah. what is yeah. allodoxophobia you go <laughs> allo okay allo dox allo breaking it down now i know a certain person is already breaking it. i would say it is the fear of an allosaurus who is wearing a doxa watch Sounds legit. I think Sounds that's legit. legit. I, uh, now, yours? see, like you've got alopecia, right? Which is a lack of hair. Oh, so it's something bald. So this is the fear of the lack of a doxa watch. Oh, like that could be like true. FOMO. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Okay, Amber, tell us what the truth is. This is going to be so bad. Well, I was going to say, boy, an hour of this is going to get me. <laughs> okay, I got one for you while we're waiting for the answer on that. Yeah. What is the definition of anti disestablishmentarianism? Oh, this is a good guess. No, wait. Fear of other Fear people's opinion. Oh, allodoxophobia. But actually, what, what Tig Lily said could be you could buy that one. Fear of fingers through the hair. That could that could work. 
That fear of trauma. other people's yeah, opinion. I like that. I won't well, remember it past today. That's interesting. Holodoxophobia. We're going to have to yeah. remember that. I'm into that. Okay, so back to the anti-disestablishmentarianism. Against. Mm. Let's see. I've heard that. That's weird. So establishment, establishment period. That's making an establishment. So anti, anti, getting rid of, anti dis, anti the getting rid of not making establishments. Yeah, I would say that's that's pretty dead on. That doesn't make any sense. I was always, getting... I was always told by my dad it means against the churches, but that was on a broad a broad scale. So, but I don't know. I just thought it was fun Anti to say. Dis but disestablishmentarianism is getting rid of, so it would be against getting rid of the churches, which would be here for the churches. Now, according but to this, it's D. not wanting to change the establishment. See, that doesn't seem right to me either. Yeah. But I don't know. Why can't we just say that? <laughs> you know what? So... It's a, I, I won't get it. I had to do a chart review at, at work today and figure out what was happening with somebody and talk about a place where they use descriptions and words and stuff that are beyond unnecessary when you could use much less general terms to describe the same thing. Okay. I got one for you. What is a combined ratio? You know, one of our children is in uh, pre-calc, mm -hmm. and uh, she came to me for help uh, one night, and it, the anxiety that it brought back drove <laughs> me nuts. I was like, I was done with this stuff, but here I am. I have to sit here and try to figure it out, right, to try to help, but... I so didn't want to. I was mm -hmm. just not enjoying that moment at all. What did you say? A, a combined that's, ratio? What is a combined ratio? So, well, but that's in statistics. That's a ratio of yeah, a ratio of something. Exactly. But how is it used in common vernacular? You are affected by combined ratio. Everybody in the bar flies is affected by a combined ratio. And it, and it directly coincides to something that you have to do every single month. Take your best guess. Every single month. Every single month or every six months or every year. You have options. I gave you, that's a hint. That's Is a that big pay taxes? Hint. Nope. Wrong. <laughs> so, <laughs> every month I've been waiting, to, I've been waiting to press that. No, uh, a, basically a combined ratio is. Now where the hint was one month, six months or a year is that's when you have to pay your insurance bill. What a combined ratio is, the amount of premium collected versus the amount of claims paid out. And that's a combined ratio. So if, you, if you're paying insurance and your combined ratio for your company is 1.0, that means you're even. If it's 1.25, that means that for every dollar they collect, they're paying out $1.25, which means what's going to happen? Your rates are going to go up. If it's below 1.0, oh, you'll get you a know, dividend. In healthcare, that's observed over expected ratio. How many of this Maybe. do you expect to see? And if you see more of that, that's usually a bad thing. You want to be at one or less. See? Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. interesting. Okay. So here's one from Dreamweaver. We have not seen Dreamweaver in a while, and we're, we like to welcome her back. So this is one that Dream hopefully Weaver. will stump. Uh, hi there. Uh, here's one to stump the Daves. Who is Ublio? Oblio. I was going to say, isn't that in the song? I was, thinking the same, I was thinking the same thing, but I don't think that's it. Ubleo. 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 That sounds like a Native American god. Ubleo. That, that seems fair to me. All hail Ubleo. Yeah. Okay. That'd be so, a good middle name. Okay. So Dreamweaver, give us the answer to that. And we're going to, and this one's yours, Dave, since I took the last one. Noskakomphobia. I know what it is. I know what it is. I you do? It. Uh huh. I think. A fear of not knowing the answer. Okay. 
That's for, Ooh, I would say it's a, a fear answer. of nose hair. No, no. <laughs> hair is not comb. I know. Hey, it's I got a riddle be. for you. Okay. How could a guy goes out in the rain? He doesn't have a hat on. He doesn't have an umbrella. Yet not a single hair on his head gets wet. Say that How again. How does that happen? Say it again. The man goes out into the rain. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have a hat on. He doesn't have an umbrella. Yet not his his clothes get soaked. But not a single hair on his head is wet. He's the headless horseman. Dude's bald. Yeah, but he still has follicular. No, yeah, we don't want to go down. We don't. Want, now but that's not hair. Now, according to this, yeah. it's a Nasca comophobia. You should have known because it's the fear of nurses. Nobody fears me. How would I know that? How would I know that? PB, what's the love of nurses? What's the anti Nasca That's right. what. That's, that's what people true. got around me. And then, uh, do you know this for Amber's question, Mister Science? Uh, I want to say Neptune. I'll see if I'm right. I have no I think, idea. I think Neptune spins anti-clockwise or clockwise. Boy. But I guess that depends on, yeah, I would say Neptune. I'm going to guess Neptune. Venus. Okay, well. Okay, that's well, that's, <laughs> okay, that's her well. guess. That's well. her guess. <laughs> oh, is it? She's Googling but, this stuff. But look, Tiggly got it right. He's bald. Very nice. Um, okay. Now, here's another one. No. Here's another one from PB. Matroushka? It's got to be Soviet. <laughs> I bet it's a fish. Fear of marrying a Russian woman. That's not a that's not a phobia. Ah, that's true. Well, maybe they say phobia in Russian different. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Probably in Russian. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So it is Venus. So she, so Tig Lily got it right. Well, look at the big brain on Tig Lily. <laughs> Show up. Nobody likes a know-it-all. How <laughs> that? Uh, I'm gonna hear about that. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. I this one. I. <laughs> oh, those are the stacking dolls. Interesting. Russian I did not know that. dolls. I think okay. I probably heard that. Hey, Dave, how far can you walk into a forest? How far can I walk into a forest? Yeah. It depends. Is it Forrest Gump? You asked. No. no. I don't know. I don't know. Any of the barflies know that one without looking it up? How far can you walk into a forest? I think I I think I posted this one some time ago. Um, what is the event horizon? Oh, oh that's the see, I know that one. And you go first, so I already know it. That is the distance from a uh, uh, planetary body at which you become attracted to its gravitational forces. Is that right? Mm, I think it more it, it it more concerns a black hole. The black hole event horizon is that last area of the accretion disk before you go down to the singularity. I think that's the event horizon. Is that where there's no escape? There's no escape. Isn't that what I said? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> here's okay. the answer how far can you walk into a forest halfway because after halfway you're walking out of the forest ah uh, mm. very good very good steven yeah. wins the internet on that one now did he's the one is he the one since he's your dad is he the one who told you that no so you know what happened is uh disney cruise is wonderful at many things one of the things they're not good at is changing their trivia questions from cruise to cruise, even year to year. So if you go to the, uh, I forget what they call it, but it's kind of like this kind of puzzle trivia or whatever. And you go there enough, you hear all the questions. And you start winning because you know all the answers. Well, that that actually works kind of good. Okay. So I I'll, would let you take, I'll let you, blue, you take this a one. A blue whale. I would say, oh, although, yeah. wait, would it be like a, a spider? Well, but then you'd have to, that that's relative. That's the combined ratio of the length of the. 
<laughs> of relatively the longest yes well no um, what if it I, like releases its sperm into the air and it has to float on the air and hit the female spider do spiders have you know sex boy i didn't see the show going this direction i'll tell you that well that's why we're here i would say the blue i would agree with you the blue whale okay so spider we need to know one the answer which animal and two do spiders have sex well they would have to you know how would you get how would you get more spiders yeah, but aren't there fish that do that? They lay eggs and then another fish comes along and like squirts well, that, the stuff on them. Tomato, tomato. That could be considered. Sex. It's uh, it's not. That's <laughs> You're uh, talking what you about... call like what plants do. Holy crap. Drosphilia bifurca is a species of fruit fly and it's 5.8 centimeters long. What? They have one then, one sperm. We're going to have to do some research on that. Okay, so now Spider That's has to crazy. answer the other burning question. Do spiders have sex? Well, you've heard about black widows, right? They lure the the male black widow into their realm, and they have mm. sex, and, and then the female black widow eats him. Wasn't, doesn't doesn't uh, the praying mantis do that? Or both? No, do? I think the praying mantis just bites the head off. The, of, the, well. of the mate, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going down that road. I refuse to. Yeah, we're not clicking on that other comment. <laughs> this is a family show, don't you know? Well, but this is an interesting question, though, too. I mean, this is a question that I think that Spider should answer. <laughs> he's not He's not answering. Either that or he's a two-finger typer. Well, and, uh, God, I got to put it up here. I have to. No. That's, you clicked the wrong one. You I know I did that on purpose. Here. <laughs> Brisket guys here. Welcome. First, the first X movie nominated for Academy that had to be Deep Throat. I'm guessing. Do you think? Because I'm, 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 I'm thinking it would. Can a can a uh, horror movie be so horrific that it gets an X rating? Well, I don't know about that. But you did you see on the Academy Awards that after 70 some odd years, Godzilla won an Academy Award? I saw that. Way to go. Yeah. And of course, Oppenheimer won Best Picture, which that was pretty much a foregone conclusion, I think. All right. So, so I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess Deep Throat for the first X rated movie nominated for an Academy Award. I'm gonna I'm I I don't have an answer, but I'm gonna go that it was a horror movie. I'd okay. be shocked. Would they really nominate a all right, let's get to PB. What's the answer? And we still haven't heard from Spider about how you get more <laughs> spiders. I like what Amber yeah. said. You asked. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, Where I wonder if Spider has gone down into his lair and is checking on he's, his arachnophobes. Why he's asking? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, he's knocking on the knocking on the thing. Hey, <laughs> tell me what you guys do. Midnight Cowboy was an X-rated what? movie. I did not know that. Was there toplessness, and it was just way too early for that in our gentle history of a country? That's interesting. I did not know that. Because the only thing I remember from seeing that movie was when Dustin Hoffman smacked on the cab and goes, "I'm walking here." That's all I remember. Oh, that was Midnight Cowboy? I thought it was, yeah. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Okay, you're up, Dave. Where can you find... Oh, did you post... Where can you find roads without cars, forests without trees, and cities without houses? I have no idea. We'll just let that... Let's just Berkeley. kick back. One of the things we talked about at the beginning of the show is we, we can just sit back and just smoke and drink and not say a word till we get an answer from the bar fly. <laughs> exactly. This is what they call forced audience participation. <laughs> you know what happens with... Uh, On a map. That's correct. Good job, Rich. Rich got that one. Uh, yes, they have it, and it's pretty weird. It's pretty, Is this a topic for another Drinks and Days? I think we need to have Spider back on. The Life on. of Spiders. The Life of Spiders. 
you know what you uh you know sometimes with especially with photography getting as good as it has you get those macro photos of like Mm -hmm. bugs and insects and some things are super pretty and some things are horrific like from the aliens movie oh yeah spiders are well i get i'm sure he thinks they're gorgeous creatures but Holy Moses, there's little tiny insects with like teeth in their mouth and stuff. Oh, like yeah, that. they're and... nasty looking. Well, look at the look yeah. at the water bear. That thing's cool as heck and it can live anywhere. The water bear. Is yeah, the water bear. No, it's that little six figured thing with the mouth in the front of it. That's microscopic. Oh. So, of course, Rich has to say Arachnosutra. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, if you care about your animals. That's true. So, yes, we will have to have Spider back on and we can talk all about spider sex. And we're talking about the eight-legged type, Amber, not the two-legged type. Oh, yeah. Hey, who the heck is Oblio? Ob- yeah, we. Yeah, that's right. Well, Don't we leave said we hanging. gave up. Dream, yeah, Dreamweaver was going <laughs> to tell us who Oblio was. She's she's waiting to be asked. She wants. That's right. Okay, so while we're doing this, here's a question for you. What did Theo A. Koch's company invent? Wait, is he one of the Koch brothers? Isn't it David and something? I didn't think it was Theo. The Koch company. I'm thinking it had to be a financial something. And I was thinking furniture. Furniture. I I was just thinking furniture. Furniture. It's. (laughs) We cannot get Amber off of this. (laughs) Okay. Note. We can't do the live in Vegas until Amber's busy doing something else. Don't say that. You 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 just opened that door. (laughs) <laughs> the Coke brother I, I don't I um I'm I, I can't narrow it down I'm gonna say it was something financial compound oh see see no is that can that be right compound interest is just math did they invent math well I think what we need to do simple interest till see, we, well see the Daves are allowed to come up with fake stuff the barflies are smart enough to come up with the real stuff so we need to have verification from Tig Lily on that as to what her source is. Well, I am so. Oh, PB. Good. Okay. So getting back to Midnight Cowboy, it featured homosexual sex. So really? back then that got you a rating X. Well, and now it gets you in the kit. Well, did that get an Academy Award? <laughs> I don't know. You know, um, one of the Koch brothers. Has an amazing look. Look at this. Color. Look at this. What is, I what was that a you, guess? Yeah, or did you kind of know about? No, that was a guess. That was a guess because the the barber chair, like the barber chair I have, is a Koken, but it's not spelled K O K O C H. It's K O K E N. All right, all right. So, well, somebody's got to look up Oblio then. Yes, we got we got snookered on that one. Yeah, we did. So somebody look up Ublio. Okay, hey, what, what flies, what's next? I got a question. I got to look okay. up the answer. I think I know. What country's mascot? Oh, wait, never mind. I'm going to ask it the other way. Talk amongst yourselves. Okay, I got a quick one for you. What state in the union is the only state that does not partake in daylight savings time? Jeez, that's right, Arizona. What, what got okay? What is Scotland's national animal? I should know this. Open to everybody. Scotland's national animal. I would say a lamb. Lamb. That's a that would be a good guess. Yes. And while we're waiting for the bar fly, I'm gonna type in Oblio. And the only reason I say the lamb is because that's what they serve haggis out. They serve haggis out of a lamb's stomach. 
Well, Oblio just says, do you mean Obliek? <laughs> Oblio drone, kid, what, Dragon Bowl? Hogwarts Dragon Bowl? I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't have time to look up. Amber's got it right. Unicorn. unicorn. Their national animal is a unicorn. So, does this... <laughs> <laughs> or is it Camilla Parker Bowles? <laughs> so if 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 Scott and we were watching, it's funny you mentioned that because we were watching a show on Scotland on the History Channel last night, and it was all about this type of stuff. Is that they believe in fairies? They believe in oh yeah. There's a lot. Oh yeah. There's a lot of mystic stuff. And did you know that Scotland per capita has more UFO sightings than any other place on the planet? Well. It's a little heavy in scotch drinking. <laughs> Can't be just... Yeah. Exactly. I'm not saying there's a correlation. <laughs> so, that's that's true. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Okay, um, here's 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 one for you. What was the name of Dudley Do-Right's horse? Uh... And this goes out to anybody. It was a woman. It was a female. Oh, it was a female? Well, then it wasn't Winchester. No. Daisy. Nope, you're close. It's a flower. Petunia. Very good. Yep. Hey. That was was good. Okay, here's another one for you. Did the during the cartoon era of the Pink Panther, did the Pink Panther ever talk? I want to say no, but that sounds like a trick question. Kind of like Mickey doesn't talk anymore, but he did early mm-hmm. on. So I'll say yep. yes. You're right. He did early in one episode on, and, he he had a, and he had a French accent. Oh, is it Inspector Clouseau? Is that the. No, it was in the cartoon. It was in the cartoon version. No, but didn't he... they have a little inspector guy too in the cartoon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was in there. Yeah, he was in the cartoon. Was that a different. No, it was all part of the same thing. And that's exactly right. She got it. He came on with a long cigarette holder and he said, merci. And that was it. Oh, really? He had one Mm -hmm. word and that was it? One word and that was it. Yep. Uh, Oh, I don't know. This So did we ever, did we still, the question of the evening is still Ublio. Right. No. What is Ublio? Anyone. (laughs) This is going to drive us nuts. Okay, here's a here is a oh, this okay. is an easy one. Here's an easy one. If you were if you were a bowl, if you were bowling and you were to roll a perfect game th- uh, three games in a row, what is the highest score you can get in league play in bowling? Wait a minute. If you if you would say again, okay, you're league bowling, okay, yeah. and you bowl three perfect games. Whoa. What is the highest? What is the highest score you can get for a three game series? What color are my shoes? Blue. Blue. Um, well, how would why would um would it be so yeah, Tig saying 900 because a perfect game is 300, but but oh you're you're nodding yes. Yes, that's correct. Oh, see, well, I thought that'd be a trick question. I was gonna say eight ninety, <laughs> like maybe you couldn't throw the last ball no. or something. Okay, here's an interesting one. A group of porcupines called. I uh, um, sometime somewhere I think I've heard this, like on a Discovery Channel show or something. I um, I, um, I want to say a bowl of pricks, but I don't think that's probably. It. <laughs> wow. Well, that's a good answer. Yeah, that's I mean, good. it works. A litter. I think they're a litter. Amber, is that true? Is it a litter? See, I need to bring up one point. This is why we need you and the barflies to email us to give us show suggestions, because otherwise, <laughs> this is what you get. <laughs> crap. This is your this, fault. This Just is your fault. <laughs> This is your fault and what causes us to drink more. All right. 
I got I got more of these riddle things, but they all sound dumb when I think about them in my head. So these, these okay, uh, you know what show we're on, right? A prickle, a prickle. So I was close. I said a bowl full of pricks, which I guess a bowl full of pricks could be called a prickle. A prickle bowl. Davy and Goliath. What was Davy's last name? And and are you talking about the claymation Davy and Goliath? Well, it had to have been because everything else is David and Goliath, right? That's true. Davy and Goliath. Davy. Well, it had to have been. It should have been something kind of biblical, right? You would think, yes. Davy and no, because in I'm trying to think, I, didn't, all I, I don't think, even know this. Was it all I can think of is Pokey and Gumby? <laughs> Did they have last names? I don't think so. Who the hell is Oblio? <laughs> this is making me okay, hold, hold on. Hold on a minute. I'm going to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm going to uh, use my Karnak strength and say, "Tig Lily, call <laughs> your sister." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what happened to her? Like Wheel of Fortune came on and she tuned out. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, like there's, there's a there's well, an advertisement the, for adult continence pads. It's much more exciting than this show. Well, the funny thing is, is I was warned that this was going to happen. I was warned earlier today of uh -huh. this. I didn't know what the word was. I didn't oh. know it was Ublio, but I was She'd warned and go. that she was going to throw something at us that we wouldn't be able to get. Sally, Sally and David, Davy Hanson. But I thought I thought Sally Hanson was like a hair care product. Well, you know, more than one thing can be named. True. So the, these two brothers uh, <clears throat> showed up to date these two sisters. And when they showed up, they looked the same height. They were the same age. And the sisters go, oh, you must be twins. And and they said, nope. And they said, well, do you have the same mother? He said, yes, we do. How could that be true? Say that again. That was way, two, way too. Two cool. brothers showed up to on a date to pick up these these two ladies, and they were the same height, the same age, had the same mother, and so these girls go, "Oh, you two must be twins," and they said, "Nope." Character from the point. I don't even know what the point is. In a lot of ways, I really don't know what the point is. Like, what is the point of this show? What is the <laughs> the character from the point? I see. This is the thing. You know, this reminds me of when Star Wars first came out. For six months before Star Wars started, there was commercials and people were building it up, and it was the greatest thing ever. And then you get there, and it was like, yeah, yeah it was good. This is the same thing. It was like, okay, Ublio, this is going to be some Norse god. Oh, yeah. And it's like, That's nah, true. it's just the character from the point. From from show, some show you never seen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what was the answer? Who is the your... 15th musketeer that never made it on the screen? <laughs> so what was, uh, so let me see. So you had two guys show up, same height, same look, same age. Did you say they were the same age? Same age, same mother, but okay. they're not twins. They're not twins. I don't know. You asked me this after I've had a drama scotch. So it's, they it's were like, triplets. But you said there was only two guys that showed up. Oh, right. Because the, the other brother didn't, didn't show up. up. Oh, that trick question. <laughs> See? See how dumb that uh, was? That was good. Okay. Some South American tarantulas keep pets in a cooperative relationship. Ooh. What animal do they keep as a pet? I'm going to say sp spiders or uh, uh, ants i was thinking the same thing i was going to say ants and that do they use them as food though are they pets or are they food yo that would be more of like a farming a farm ranching farming, yeah. yeah so but maybe they maybe they clean out their tunnels and keep watch for other critters going in true, there true good point good point so we'll all right we, for... we're, we're booking spider to talk about spiders How's yes, that? definitely, because this will be a very interesting, if not I mean, itchy, if not itchy type of, because uh, at the end. I mean, they're, everybody's gonna... figuring out, geez, how would you know this guy knows about spiders? It's just mm -hmm. we're intuitive that way. Okay, here's one for you, Dave. Wait, wait, what? What? Frogs. Frog? Spiders keep frogs? 
What the heck? Spy what to get to the other side? Watch this one. What alcohol brand is famous hairdresser Paul Mitchell on? Padron. Oh, you know this. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was gonna say truly. <laughs> um, okay, here's another one. What uh what scotch by the name of Santos? Who owns that scotch or that uh, tequila company? You know this. I know. We just this. bought it. Yeah. You know, I went to a second store and they didn't have it either. I've still got a full bottle. Yeah. I'm not bringing it. I'm not bringing it. Okay. Here's one for you. What is right. one astronomical unit? Like if somebody says, okay, this, this, AU, this yeah. thing out there is four AU away. That's an is astronomical Is that the distance unit. between us and the sun? Very good. Oh. Ding, ding, ding. You win. Okay, so what the ants farm? According to spider, oh, the frog eats yeah. the ants and other small insects, and the spider offers protection for the frog. Okay, so this okay, so it so, keeps the ants away from the spiders. That's all I can think of. I'm getting itchy. Can't spiders eat the ants? That's what I. We thought. can discuss this in more detail on yes. the episode. Nobody wants to watch. <laughs> all you need to know about spiders <laughs> coming up in the near future. What do ants farm? They farm um, grubs, mold. Really? I think. I think they. Uh, uh, yeah, I think don't they take like a vegetation down or something like that, and then have like a mold grow? And for some reason, I think that that sounds really good. Though I, I would vote that that sounds very, very good. All right, that's the right answer. Moving on. <laughs> Oh, God, is this show over yet? <laughs> no, we've got <laughs> quite a ways to go. Um, <laughs> we need to get, uh, uh, okay, tell you what, let's let's change it up for the last 10 minutes. Put a one, barflies, put one word up, and we're going to give you the definition of that word. Ants farm aphids by placing aphids on leaves. The aphids suck the leaves and exclude sugary secretions from the ants. Come back, huh? That's very smart. And I think I, I've seen a show on this long time ago. That, but I think there's also farmer ants. That's why she's saying it. We watched this the other night. Oh. <laughs> Somebody looked that up, too. Do ants grow? No, that's true. That That's true. right. I uh, but I think I think both might be true. Because we were sitting there just listening to Richard Attenborough, who makes. What? <laughs> hey. <laughs> This was a live show, lady. <laughs> yeah, down. No heckling. <laughs> <laughs> we do our own heckling. Where did this go off the rails? Well, yeah, that's right. Well, when it started two months ago. <laughs> so, um, see, now I'm trying to find words that <laughs> that we can make. Uh... How about onomatopoeia? You know, I remember that from school. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. Well, you heard yes, it. I yeah, I heard it. Do you remember what it is? Isn't it that little... Okay, I was just informed by a ghost that the reason why that answer was written by Tig Lily is because she has an oak tree, she has an elm tree, she has another tree, and I guess... Oh. And aphids is all over it. Apparently. Yeah, I, I the funny thing is I can't tell you. Uh, I think onomatopoeia has something to do with music. See, I thought it was a little the little Bell and Ross sign type thing. <laughs> oh, I, don't right. I don't know. I couldn't even you know the, the bad part of the bad part about a show like this is it really proves how stupid humans are. For the most part. On oh my okay. How would you Cholame, California it? is famous no. for Cholame is the word, and he's saying California famous for it. Okay. You live in California. Yeah, I think that's what we call ice plant. It's a little it's on the if you go to the dunes along the ocean, there's this bright, bright green plant that is just thrives in the sand. And it's like just full of water. The, the leaves are crazy. They're like sponges and stuff. Really? 
Yeah. Interesting. Now, okay, here's one for you. But I, that was a guess. It sounded great. And since you're from California and it's northern, kind of northern California, you're near the coast, well, that's perfect. Well, there okay. is a thing called ice. So, so yeah. We, flowers. We, yes. Wait, I'm still educating. Go yes. ahead. <laughs> uh, cabotage. Cabotage. Come on. Oh, here. I'm looking up on onomatopoeia, buddy. Formation of a word from a sound associated with its name. Like boom or bang or crash. Oh, okay. Oh, onomatopoeia. See, we look at Conjunction, a... junction. <laughs> We're all learning here. This is a learning. This is a learning. Well, cabotage thing. is, I mean, that's kind of you're, you're sabotaging somebody's cabbage. I mean, that's pretty straightforward. Usually done by a grenade put in the middle of the cabbage. Oh, by the way, did you know? Because since I know you're such a huge Chuck Norris fan, yeah. such a huge yeah. Chuck Norris fan, did you know that Bruce Lee well, threw <laughs> threw a grenade, killed hmm. that that killed fifty people, then and the then grenade exploded. then the grenade yeah. went off. Oh. Got it. Yeah, <laughs> Chuck Norris did the same. I think. Yeah, of course. <laughs> um, okay, this one's James Wait, Dean. Cabot, oh. you, what's a cab? You you didn't give your answer. Oh, uh, yeah. I think Cabot it Cabot. is it is a special. Navy warfare thing that took place in the army. And as we know, major rich is retired army. It was a special thing where they made cabbages that they sent as spies. They had little um, <laughs> recording devices in them. You just, said a, you just said a Navy thing that they used in the army. Exactly. <laughs> it was a joint. It was a, it was a joint oh, operation. Right. <laughs> so, uh, Tig Lily is saying that cabotage is the fear of strangulation. And She's Amber guessing. is saying that cabotage is earth. <laughs> <laughs> cabotage. The right to operate sea, air, or other transport services within a particular territory. So I was military. I think that clowns. Right. I don't think it mentioned cabbage. Cabotage. Well, I've got the right to be here. And cabotage. operate a plane. <laughs> okay. All right. So is this his? James Dean's 1955 Porsche 550 Spider crashed with a 1950 Ford Tudor on September 30th, 1955. Oof. Colomy? Does weird. that make sense? I don't even think we know what we're talking about anymore. No, this is just one of those weird things that's like, wow. No, it's an unincorporated community in San Luis Obispo. Oh, so he's saying, what was that famous for? Colomine, California. Oh, oh. okay. <laughs> oh, that's Gabaton. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> so how that's many people good. are going to name their next pet cabotage cabotage <laughs> that's a good sounding word yeah it is it really it sounds very very um up uh, you know upbeat cabotage see right. the, and see this is how you screw somebody earth was her new word for earth, for for you now for, for us, is you earth. yeah is you for me us? or you you <laughs> It's for us, Irv. I thought she was making. Uh, I thought she was getting sick off of tequila. That's what I. Which thought. I think that's what Irv is. Okay, I know. I, okay, no, wait. You have to say what Irv is because I know what P beats is. Irv. To me, Irv is Brussels. Uh, not bro broccoli. Every time I see broccoli, I go Irv. You know, Irv. Mm -hmm. I think that's that's just a term for something that's nasty, yeah. yeah or you're Earth. stupid. Earf. Earf. Yeah. All right, Amber, tell us what Earth is. Crash. Come on, Catholic boy. I have no clue. No? That's mm -hmm. the uh, little scene with uh, Mary and Joseph and the little baby in the manger. That's a crash. Oh, see... You didn't have a little baby in the manger? No. 
<laughs> I didn't say it was a. I didn't say it was a good Catholic. No, we, we don't have that. I, I didn't say it was a good Catholic. <laughs> oh, so we have Earths. You and I have Earths in Scotland. Well, right, about a half an acre in size. Well, it could be, a, but she said about. So about, we have one square it. foot. So if with you, that, if you so round that, up, yeah. So does that mean we have a mini Earth? <laughs> We, we, we have yeah we have a mini earth we have a mini earth <laughs> this is this yeah that was good that was good you got um earth. wait what is wait a minute what? i know my answer was right british term for nursery maybe that's why they call it a crash is because the baby jesus is there and or maybe would ugh. All right, I can't keep looking this stuff up. Maybe it's maybe it's the thing that he's in. They called it the something. No, no something that's a manger. That. That's a manger. The, no, that he's laying in. Oh, that's yeah, a manger. A way. Wait a minute. In a Isn't a manger with the horses and like the bigger? That's structure? a stable. That's a stable. Laying in the manger. No, no, no. <laughs> it's like he's laying in the house when they say he's laying what in house? the manger. <laughs> manger. No, a long manger. open boxer trough for horses or cattle to eat from. See, he was a Whoa, away in a manger. So, see, I am now a good Catholic again. <laughs> All right. This is driving me nuts, man. Um, okay. What is ceviche? You should know this. You're a foodie. Yeah. It's you. Well, I, I see. I can't get. I know. I eat it. I've had mm -hmm. it, but I don't know what the definition Because I was going to say chopped up like it's like a. A uh, raw fish kind of dip kind of thing, except it's chunky, but yeah, it probably raw. doesn't have to have fish. Well, no, actually, it's it, shrimp. Yeah, it's shrimp, fish, and it cooks in the juices. So that's what cooks the fish. It's not really raw anymore because it cooks in the acidity of the lime and stuff that you put in it. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I like ceviche. I don't like it with the little red hot peppers they stick in there, though. Why, yes, yeah, spider. Yes, it does. Yes. I became a Lord of Lefroig in December of 2021. It's hard to get people to refer to you as Lord, though, isn't it? No, there's more colorful adjectives they use <laughs> for me. <laughs> <laughs> like Earth. <laughs> yeah, I'm not I'm gonna use Earth, but I'm not gonna use it to refer to land, I'll tell you that. <laughs> um by acid, yeah. By acid, the acid cooks the shrimp and the fish. Does that now? Is that technically cooking? Yeah. Cooking does not have to have heat to be cooking. So, because you, so, you cook, you can cook the books. Oh come on! Well, We're talking it's cooking food though. Not the same. So if you don't have to have heat to cook, if you can cook with acid, then it's the transformation. Of the proteins in the meat to something else that means that it's cooked. Right. 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 Man. Look but, at it's all but it's delicious. But it's delicious. Oh. Ceviche is delicious. <laughs> Jeez. I am Lord Spider. <laughs> yeah. You need that on the back of your motorcycle jacket, buddy. That's true. Lord Spider. They kick him out of the club. but. <laughs> all right. Can we put an end to this thing, Dave? I think... <clears throat> we we apologize for yeah. this last hour. <laughs> oh come on, everybody had fun. They got to mm. see us at our best and our worst, and we educated people. That's what we're okay. here for. Rich ceviche does not have mayonnaise in it, so yeah, it's not no, fish tartar. That is not correct. Oh no, he's saying fish tartar. Oh, for tartar. tartar, tartar, tartar. Have you ever had uh, beef tartar? I might have once. Because anybody who's recall. German should have had what they call raw beef and onions. Have you ever had that? No. You take raw. No, it's not like hamburger. It's raw sirloin. So it's it's safe. And you mix it right. with onions and pepper and you take rye bread, put it on the. Oh, it's so delicious. Whoever said I was German? You did. No. You're not German. No. Sprecher is not German. It's a German name, but our family comes from Switzerland. Oh, you're Swiss. Swiss. Like the cheese. 
Oh, so you like um, what's that? What's Wait, the, you know? Well, just just because they came there from five generations ago doesn't mean that I carry on. Uh... Speaking of, well, we've got to end with food. Do you like? Oh God, it just it just went away. That you can buy it in the stores in little jars, and it's and it's and it's pickled pickled herring. Do you like pickled herring? I don't think I've ever had. Oh, it's so good, especially the pickled herring that's in sour cream with onions. You take a cracker and you yeah, you, oh, and you get a big chunk of that 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 herring and put it on a. Yeah. It is so good. See, that's the kind of stuff I would try if I didn't have to buy a container of it because you just want one bite to see. Oh, it's so good. If you would, well, so here's some to Vegas. We'll have okay. bourbon and pickled herring night. Well, the the pickled herring is probably going to taste about the same as bourbon <laughs> anyway. So, um, here's one. What year did the iconic Holiday Inn sign disappear? So this has to be around the time that Holiday Inn Express started, when you know the big oval mm -hmm. kind of triangular thing. I would say 1981 is my guess. Yeah, I was going to say that's well. Holy cow, I was going to have to say recent, but even the 80s is like 40 years ago. I know that's, yeah, that's, that's kind of disgusting. I, I would say no, I'm going to say in the 90s. Okay. I'm going to say in the 90s. PB, what is the answer? And if he comes he, back and says, I don't know, but I stayed at a Holiday Inn Express <laughs> last night. <laughs> he's not, he's not, he's going to leave us hanging. He'll be. Yes, Amber, I will bring, well, well I won't bring it with me because it's a six-hour drive from here to Vegas, uh, and that pickled herring may not be good by then, so we, we'll buy some when we're there. That's not refrigerated, is it? Oh, yeah. That sounds like something that'd be good for 100 years. No, it's refrigerated because you, oh, really? you got sour cream and onions and stuff in it. Yeah. 1982. Whoa, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Um, because yeah, because well, nothing like nothing says karaoke like pickled herring. <laughs> that was a great band. It yeah, was it like was, them. It was yeah. So um, yes, I, I I would say we pull this train into the station. <laughs> uh, again, so, we apologize. So well, but wait a minute, we're not apologizing because oh. it's their fault. Remember, right? It's their fault. You need That's to right. email us, and Dave will put up the email address right here. You need to email us with show ideas. Please email us. Tell us know what you'd like to see. And Please. soon, well, soon, we will have Spider back on to talk about the wonderful world of arachnids. Yeah. I think that'll be fun. And then as soon as everybody gets done for the evening, because we're coming into the summer months, you know, we're getting warmer. So spiders are starting to stretch and go, OK, it's time to get up and terrorize humans. So mm -hmm. we're going to get up after listening to everything about arachnids. And, and check your gonna, sheets. Everybody's going to check the corners. <laughs> Have you noticed that with spiders? They always hang out in the corners mm. of your house. So that makes me and maybe spider knows the answer to this question. So if spiders like to hang out in the corners. What if you live in a geodesic dome? Does that really just screw the spider up? He doesn't know where the corners are at. Don't tell us now. Save it for the show. Exactly. That would be yeah. great for the show. So, well, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, right, thank you for joining us here at Drinks and Days. We hope that this, um, this, uh, torture that we've put you through for the last hour and 14 minutes has been worth it. Uh, we appreciate that we had 14 people that stuck it out until the last 10 minutes. And then we lost five. Well, <laughs> again, Hollywood squares is probably, well, right. well, either that or, you know, Lawrence Welk, maybe reruns of Lawrence yeah. Welk. So anyhow, we'd like to thank everybody for joining us at drinks and dives. Again, please tell everybody to subscribe seven more subscribers and we will give away some drinks and Dave swag. So please tell everybody to uh, to do that. And we will see you next week at 6 p.m. Say goodnight, Dave. Good night, Dave. Take care, everybody. Thanks for joining us.